So what do we do? People will be able to see you and anything you broadcast may be captured by the recording. This is an open meeting as per the governor's executive order. Public comments will be permitted by the appropriate, uh, at, a, at the appropriate times um, at various intervals. Speakers should identify themselves. Uh, with that being said, I'd like to continue. Okay, I got rid of that. And we do have an agenda. Evening, Bill. Hello, how you doing? Good. Welcome. Uh, Paul, um, I did speak to, um, was it Melissa today oh. about the general store? So I'll be getting her the tobacco information and I put her in touch with Bridget for food service. Okay. Okay. Um, for the, those of you who don't know, there will be new pro proprietors of the general store probably by the end of this month. Oh, wow. Folks, folks from town, so. Good. Yeah. Pl the place is getting a facelift and it's getting new ownership. Mm -hmm. So we'll see where it goes. Yeah, it's looking real nice. Yeah, yeah. Well, it hadn't been looking real nice. So a uh, coat of paint goes a long way and some other yeah. repairs. So she's doing the right thing. All yeah. right, uh, agenda discussion, 36 Dudley Road. Um, I drafted a letter, haven't seen it yet. Um, when I do, it'll go out certified, standard 30 days. Okay. Um, I think the chief had told the owner that you know, he'd be getting letters from various departments and then we'll see where that leads. Okay. 16 Bellevue. Uh, holding pattern, I guess he's paying his fines. Again, um, I guess maybe Paul, myself, the chief and Margaret should talk about next course of action. Yeah. Otherwise, this is just going to continue, and uh, he's going to continue paying money, and it's really not a um, it's not a healthy situation. Nope. I will uh, coordinate setting up that that meeting, Bill. Okay. The meeting with Margaret and the chief. Yes. Okay. Chief Galvin and Margaret. I don't know if anybody's been in a town hall, but it looks like they put a drive through window into Margaret's office. <laughs> yeah. The first one in town. Yeah. Yeah. That apparently is for the tax collector and the tax collector assistant, which I didn't even know we had. Yep. Uh, they're going to move down there, right, Sue? So? Yeah, they're going into that office, so yeah. then they don't have to go in far. That makes sense. that makes sense actually. Yeah, I couldn't okay. find the copier Friday. Somebody had to tell me where it moved. <laughs> where did they put it? They put it in the uh, meeting room that's right beyond us temporarily. Okay. I don't know. I think it's going out in the hallway permanently, but I'm not sure. What what is going in the printing uh, room? Uh, well, Margaret's office is like kind of beyond it. So you have to go through the, the printing mail room to get to Margaret's new office. I, I don't uh, know. So it's the veterans old office. Yep. Yeah. Oh, oh, okay. All right. Where'd they throw, where'd Jimmy go? Is he, they throw him out? I don't know. Cabral? No. A couple stars trailers out back. I, I have yeah. no idea. <laughs> yeah. Things are moving around in there. Yeah. 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 Uh, the inspectors one. are staying put. Yep. Yeah. Yes. Yep, into, into the <laughs> um, Again, that was turned over to the um, the state, and uh, I guess with the um, things being lifted, uh, probably won't go anywhere. Uh, that's a shame that that just goes away. Uh, yep. So they kind of skated, and uh, now we're back to probably not needing it for now. Mm. Oh well, only so much we can do. A for effort. Uh, 139 Coolidge Road. Uh, again, drafted a letter, haven't seen it yet. Once I do, it'll go out, giving them 30 days to get a Title V done for change in ownership of property. Yep. 
Uh, 100 Gates Pond Road. Um, it could have been a year ago. We got a Title V on this property and it had an open-ended repair that was done many years ago, needed a deed restriction. Um, owner is now selling and wants to get everything squared away. So they did do the deed restriction. So I'll draft a quick letter just saying the Title V is now complete. Oh, okay. Once we receive the deed restriction, I know it went to be recorded. I haven't seen a recorded document yet. Right. Is that the one right at the top of the hill, Bill? <clears throat> when you make Gates Pond Road? Or no. No. Um, if you're coming in from 62 and yeah. you pass Fawes Gate on the right, oh, this yeah. would be um, one, two, maybe three or four houses on the left. Oh yeah, okay. Yeah. It sets up on a hill uh, away from the road. Oh yeah, the old joke in house. Um, I because I know that they, the police or somebody went down to that first place on the right to see the new owners. They thought somebody was in. They said we got to get out and meet the new owners to see if there's somebody in there, a new house. So I, I heard unofficially today that there were there were squatters there. Yes. But really? it's being sold. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. So it'll be, um, you know, be fixed up. Uh, they're doing a title sure. five today, uh, working on the well. So yeah, that, that property will come around. I see. Yep. Okay. I'm going to uh, jump on the agenda to permits and go to 136 Central Street. Okay. Now, Sue, hopefully we have that plan. <laughs> hopefully. Um, let's see what I, what, uh, is this the South Street thing? No, uh, this is Central Street. Central Street. It would be Steve Sears, I think, that sent it. Uh, it's Jerry Bernius, is it? Oh. Yes. Yep. There's an existing farmhouse there, but right. it's proposed for a new dwelling, new system. About the new other dwelling. one. I can share that street. Well, we're going to do that one, too. <laughs> All right. Jump to 54 South. I just got to find my share screen button. And then I'm going to go off and look at the next one. It is. Yeah, so this is um, uh, Dennis Minnick's house, 54 South Street, failed the Title V inspection. Uh, pretty simple. Believe it or not, a variance free upgrade. It's, uh, I think we had 10 foot dry uh, sand and gravel soils. Um, and you can see uh, they're putting in a new 1500 gallon tank. There's two uh, trenches proposed with reserve shown. Um, so it's uh, pretty straightforward. Cool. Very good. Looks and they're anxious good. to um, anxious to get it done because I think they're closing soon. Yeah, they are. So, so I've got a permit drafted. If the board's okay with that, I'll uh, sign it for the board and, and talk to the owner about fee and signature. It's fine, fine with me. Any other members weigh in? Fine with me. No variances. I'm good. All right. Make and them. this looks like Central Street Sheet 2. How about Sheet 1? Uh, how about Sheet 2, whatever, that shows the actual site? Uh, yeah, um, so this, um, I, I assume everybody knows where um, Jerry's got his landscape and equipment. Um, there's an existing... Um, farmhouse just to the far left of the screen uh, on an old cesspool that failed a while back in an existing well, as you can see. Um, this is proposed new house, new well, um, and new septic system. Again, variance free, new 1500 uh, gallon tank and a leach bed uh, out front. Oh, four bedroom home. <laughs> yep. They just, they just had another baby. Oh, I didn't know that. <laughs> God bless. Another, another boy. Wow. 
about a week or 10 days ago. Oh, I didn't know that. I'll have to congratulate him when I talk to him. Yeah, yeah by all means. He's yeah. quite pleased. He said, I asked if everybody was excited. He said, well, they probably would have been more excited if it was a baby girl. But <laughs> once everybody got to hold him, oh, yeah. everything yeah. was good. So. Sure. <laughs> yeah. So again, I got a permit drafted for that. And if the boards go with that, I'll sign it and get it processed. If I remember correctly, the boy's name is Matthias Christopher, but don't quote me. No wow. kidding. Good for him. So, yep. So that looks good to me, Billy, right? No variances there, right? No. Correct. Good. Terrific. And I was able to bring it up this time. Yeah, it looks yeah. good. Yeah. So. <laughs> okay. How do I make it go away? <laughs> <laughs> um, um, okay, Paul, we've just looked through most of the, oh, Title Five report. Yep. Yeah, 220 Lancaster Road is a pass. Okay. That's one of the ranches on the left as you're approaching the uh, Bolton town line. That was the Mitchell property, right? Correct. Yep. Excuse me just a minute, please. Hello. So can you unshare the screen? Would that make it go away? Good. I'm um, just trying to get back to the screen. This room. Jerry's new house. Oh. I got a better idea. I will just. Oh yeah. Yeah. Well, I got a leader in 2020 Guard the Magic Quadrant. Yeah, I have no idea where that came from. All oh, right, right. <laughs> the advertisement. Can you exit out, so? Because. Yeah. No. Oh. Okay, appreciate that. Donna, yeah. um, your co host, in case I right, thanks. for a minute. Okay. Okay, sorry about that. That was a call from one of the local police officers oh. relative to squatters at Shiro. Shiro, really? Oh, Shiro, yeah. yeah. They must have moved across the street. Yeah, they. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. Anyhow, police and fire are dealing with it right now. So. Wow. All right. What are we looking at here? I'm sorry. Uh, don't worry, but I'm just <laughs> trying to get my uh, computer to. Wait a minute. View options. You have view. Yeah, this will stop share up at the top, but it won't let me. View options. Hide view. Um, exit full screen. No, I don't know. Hide video panel. No. Well, we don't need to look at anything for the next line item, which is septic system picture documentation. No, we don't. That's just for discussion. We'll discuss away. Okay. Um, this is just something that came to mind as I was observing the septic system being put in at the library. Oh, there you go. Hello. Where'd everybody go? Oh, I can see you. I can see you, Paul. I can see you, Paul. Keep All going. right, there we go. Um, and the the contractor that did it, um, I thought, did an incredibly neat job. Um, I think Bill, uh, well, I know Bill saw it. Um, yeah, I would agree with that statement. And it just struck me, and I, I don't know if there's a real benefit, but um, that would have been a picture tutorial about how to do that kind of system. And I don't know if pictures of new systems um, could be helpful to the board in, in our records moving forward. Part of my thinking is with te technology and cell phone cameras, pictures are, you know, everybody's taking pictures these days. 
And is that a first? Is it is it an imposition on installers or owners? And secondly, um, is it worthwhile? Because excuse me, I know we have much better records, uh, much better as built than than you know decades ago. So I don't know if it really has a place, but um, I just wonder if you never know when it might be helpful to have that picture. Any thoughts? Well, you could go in the folder and if it was sold, they'd know what they had in the ground, you know, uh, or. But yeah, well, once it's you... loamed and seeded, no matter how good it looked, no one will know. <laughs> yeah, that's what I mean. Right, right. Um, I know a lot of installers actually take photos for their records in case anything's questioned in the future. Okay. I mean, maybe we don't mandate it, but we request it. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know. It, it could help when, if you have to dig up a, an old septic for a repair or something. Um, right. You know, measurements are one thing, certainly, but um, seeing is believing is also another. So I don't know. It was just a, a thought I had. Um, and it might subtly, and I don't know that this is even necessary subtly put pressure on the installers to make sure they do a nice job, a good job. I mean, I'm sure you can do a kind of sloppy job and have a system work. <clears throat> It'd be nice if all the systems were, were done, done well. Just cleanly, yep. Yeah, even the engineer commented on how um, exact that system was put in. Uh, you know, everything was square, the edges of sand, you know, where it was such a non-conventional shape, it really looked good. Yeah, it really did. I, I was impressed by that that fellow, that operator, Josh. I was too. I haven't worked with him yet, but I hope to see him in the future. <laughs> yeah, um, gives you a, a certain feeling of comfortableness if you know he's on the yep. job. Exactly. And I had a conversation with him and he said, well, I'm just doing what my father told me to do. He said, do the job. If you're going to do the job, you do it right. And, you know, you don't mess around. Right. Yep. That that's what he did there. Yeah. So I don't know. That's just something uh, I'd ask people to think about. I'm not looking to necessarily <laughs> take any action on it right now. But, um, uh -huh. It may be it may be helpful at some point down the future. I have two things. One, which Bill probably is the way, I don't know if he's aware of or not. I don't know if you all saw the memo we got from the DEP telling us from now on, if we want to have a hazardous waste day, we have to contact them at least two months in advance and get their approval to have the hazardous waste day. I missed that one. Didn't see it. I didn't either. Yeah. Well, I can go. I know I didn't delete it, so I can forward that. I can share it with all of you guys. Just one more <laughs> layer of bureaucracy we have to deal with. They need two months to approve it. Yeah, all right. It used to be send them a letter 30 days prior to having a hazardous waste day. Now I think it's two months. And they cannot even give us a list of hazardous waste vendors. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe they're trying to collect that information. Yeah, well, it should have been done 10 years ago. Uh, the other thing is purely for Paul. Uh, Donna and I were looking at Pete's time as of today. Um, or as of the end of June, he's going to have like 61 hours between vac excess vacation time and his personal day that will go unused. Now, that's enough for three weeks of three more weeks of vacation. He's taking two weeks, but frankly, he should just take the whole month of June off. 
because I can't pay them. I can't roll it over. There's no money in the budget next year to pay for his rolled over vacation time. And I don't think uh, rollover is permitted. No, I don't. I thought, yeah, not I don't. This year. What's but that, Sue? I said not this year. Yeah, not this year. Last year, it would, because of COVID, it was allowed to, yeah. to carry over. So you could afford to take another three weeks or pretty close to it. And I just thought maybe you'd like to encourage that. Well, I will, I'm working tomorrow, but I will try and catch up with him before the end of the day and let him know. I hate to see people just not use their vacation time. So he has 61 hours remaining? Yep, 57 vacation hours and four personal hours. That's the updated one that I sent you, right? To the, yep. the, the okay. All right. Hmm. That's um, all I have. Go ahead. That's I'm all you have. Okay. Um, the end of this week, they're probably going to be trying to uh, alleviate alleviate the wall issue with some digging out a trench and putting in stone and uh, drainage uh, to keep those walls from collapsing. Um, I spoke with Dave Smith, met with him. Sue, I think you stopped by that day. Yep. Um, All right. I'm supposed to get a call when they do it. I'm thinking it's going to be, it, it'll probably, if it doesn't start Thursday or Friday, I know it'll start Saturday because uh, Mike Sawyer is going to be doing it. I was wondering, Paul, if you put in the drainage, um, I wondered if you, uh, put some membrane between the back of that wall. Those are pretty, I are gonna put, fa gonna put fabric in. Oh yeah. yeah, and then pour concrete or something no, on it? Stone. Just stone, just stone. Just stone, yeah, yeah. That's, how, that's yeah. how it was explained to me and they're gonna sure. run a drainage trench um, yep. toward, toward the taker to leave it, which dumps off into the woods there. Oh. Yep, so they Isn't know what they're doing. What's Margaret it? sent a memo today or last night about a declaration. Yes. Yeah, I'm getting ready. You're getting ready to make the declaration. Yeah. Okay. Want to make sure we didn't forget. No, 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 no. Um, That's the COVID thing, Paul. Uh, yeah. What? Yeah. Let me see. Let me try and phrase this appropriately i make a motion that the board of health approve lifting of our local declaration uh, of a state of emergency due to covid19 so that it coincides with the lifting of the commonwealth's uh lifting of a state of emergency in other words it does not supersede it just when the state uh, votes or acts to uh, uh, remove the state of emergency, our local board of health, uh, this motion will uh, co-join co with that. Is that clear enough to everybody? Yep. To vote on? Yes. Good, because I don't want to say it again. <laughs> <laughs> write that all down too. Uh, I don't think I got it all. Oh uh, well, we we can we can make that work after the fact if we have okay. to, Donna. Okay. <laughs> Coincide. Okay, uh, we need to do a roll call on that. This is regarding lifting the local declaration of emergency, um, so that it um, uh, is in conjunction with the lifting of the Commonwealth's state. Of emergency. Sue. Aye. Bobby. Aye. Paul. Aye. Need any any more help with that, Donna? Or is that Donna, I'll forward you the migrant memo. Thank you. Yeah, all right. Do that. that that's a great idea. Yes. Yeah. So I, I don't do shorthand. 
Yeah, yeah. No, I don't blame you. I wouldn't. I either. got the gist of it. I just want to be able to put it down properly on paper. If anybody's interested, there should be an interesting board of selectmen meeting going on tonight. What's the hot topic? Well, Conservation Commission is uh, looking for an agent. Uh, an agent. There, uh, there are a number of concom items. Um, they didn't get what they wanted at the town meeting, and now they want to hire someone. Yeah, and they're starting to do battle with a landowner over a, a right of way and um, Oh boy. Yeah. I don't know. It, it's just like they need to learn to be a little more friendly, I think. But that's my personal opinion. And if you go on Facebook, you'll get Walter's opinions about everything. <laughs> That's why I'm not on it. <laughs> All right. Not, not um, just him. <laughs> Bill, do you have anything else for us? I do not. Um, once I get those letters, Paul, I'll, I'll let you know for signature. Okay. Okay. How are things in other towns? Good, good. Uh, Bolton's uh, actually Bolton opened today to the public, uh, the town office, and um, Lancaster and Stowe um, haven't decided yet. So, not okay. opening ever. No, I'm kidding. No. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't know what they're doing. <laughs> Nobody communicates with us. No, uh, Sue, were you going to talk about Zoom meetings at all? Or um, no, I booked Zoom meetings out, or I Mary did uh, through the end of this year, so they are. We have the time reserved if and when we want to use them. Okay, Zoom meetings. Hmm. Well, I look forward to get back to in person, but. But I would like to keep the Zoom option open. Oh, absolutely. That way, say if I'm in the Bahamas. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, if I wanted to be somewhere, yeah. I'll carry your bags. <laughs> yeah. I could, I could potentially zoom in. Donna would set up the laptop in the meeting room. <laughs> she would try. <laughs> oh, sure, carry foist, it, foist it on Donna while you're away yeah. drinking. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Nice. I would That's... like to keep that option open. <laughs> Okay. Oh, uh, question for Bill. Um, and I really would be shocked if you had uh, an answer for this, but do you know anything? I've become aware of a, uh, a lead abatement project going on in a rental house that is occupied. I have to look into that. Um, you know, I don't know what the protocol are. You know, they're supposed to be following DEP guidelines, so I honestly don't know what those are off the top. Of my yeah, head. right. No, I didn't think so. It's just like it's, it's they have to be containment. I mean, you know, I, I in, in theory, I would imagine if they were contained in a room and, and the rest of the house was sealed off, but I'd have to look into that. Yeah. Wow. Well, I could ask. I could ask. I'll ask a lead inspector. I can get back to you tomorrow. Okay. All right. Be because you, you have to, you don't, have, you don't have to do any real deep digging, but yep. it's something that came across my knowledge just this afternoon. And mm -hmm. it's a situation where I don't think everything's copacetic, but I don't. Well, know. if rules aren't being followed, that's a big deal because that's a serious oh, situation, whether it's asbestos yeah. or lead, a very serious situation. Yeah. You know, you have to be licensed too now. Uh, oh, well, to be licensed, you need to know the regulations exactly. Yeah, regulations. Even a house painter uh, sometimes deals yes. with this now. Um, yep. Yeah. Well, I know. I know house painters that won't touch a house with lead paint because they yeah. don't want to deal with all the paperwork, yep. all the restrictions, protocols, yep. and all that. You know? Yep. Right. So they, they only want to paint houses from 1980 on, I guess. Because <laughs> yeah. pretty much, you know, I think lead paint went out 
in the early 70s. Yep. Yeah, it was the 70s. Yep. Yeah. yeah. All right. Um, barring, unless anybody raises their hand, has something else, do I hear a motion to adjourn? I'll, I'll make a motion. motion to adjourn. Do I have a second? Second. All right. All in favor, we'll do roll call. Sue? Aye. Bobby? Aye. Paul? Aye. And the meeting is adjourned. <laughs>